Right, we're back with Coach Q this week. Coming off a big week weekend, continuing their uh, undefeated season and winners of the track this year. Coach, talk about what that means you to win the track. You're the first team to in the history of the Lima Senior any sports to, to win a track championship. You know, it's a great feeling. Uh, you know, these guys have worked hard for it. They've worked extremely hard dating back to uh, last season uh, when we came up short. You know, it's a sensational feeling. Um, you know, I know I'm ecstatic. The guys are ecstatic. Uh, you know, that was one of our goals, you know, prior to the season even beginning, you know, and, and we were definitely glad to be able to, to reach that goal, to be solely track, you know, conference champions, uh, the first time doing it at this school, so it's definitely a great feeling. Talk about these weekend games coming up. I mean, how, how important is it for you guys to, to finish out undefeated? Well, you know, we want to finish undefeated. We can be the first team in history to, uh, you know, go the regular season undefeated. Uh, so. We taken these last two games extremely, extremely cautious. Uh, Oregon Clay is a road game, and it's also a conference game. So, you know, we are definitely approaching that with a seriousness magnitude. Um, on Saturday, uh, Mansfield Senior, you know, a, a kind of a ball club that's similar to us, uh, scrappy, long, athletic. Uh, our senior night, you know, uh, hopefully we can get both of those games. But more importantly, uh, Jay Thomas is 32 points away from getting a thousand. So. You know, together we want to make sure we send him out, you know, hoping he can get his 1,000 points. Is he back in the lineup then starting Friday? And yes. Injury? Yep, he'll be back Friday, and, uh, you know, hopefully we can get him going and carry it over until Saturday. You okay. talk about Saturday. It's kind of a big night. It's senior night. Right. You have quite a few seniors. We're going to retire Jared Pugsley's jersey at halftime. I mean, that's going to be a pretty big atmosphere here at Senior, right? Definitely. Uh, the senior group is, you know, most of these guys I've had since we started, you know, basketball and football at this you know third grade level so it's kind of a special moment for me being in these this group being in their lives for that long and seeing these guys be able to go off into college and do some better things with themselves uh, and then on top of that Jared is obviously related to me so that's great for our family we have a ton of family coming in town for him uh, he's a kid that has worked extremely hard uh, a kid that didn't get to play you know peewee football because he was overweight uh, so he got a, a four-year uh, delay from the average football player and had to learn, you know, things where everybody else was kind of four years ahead. So he's a guy that just worked extremely hard on the field, in the classroom, uh, very humble. His integrity speaks volume, you know, so retiring his jersey is definitely a blessing to him. It's a blessing to our family. It's a blessing to this school. You keep the guys out that night to watch that? Is that definitely. something for them to see? Yeah, definitely. We will go in at halftime after that's over. Uh, we may even not we may not even come into the locker room. We may just do our halftime in the auxiliary gym. Uh, hopefully, uh, if it's a situation where I need to, you know, kind of chew these guys out, then we'll kind of play that by ear. All right. Let's look ahead now to the playoffs. I mean, what's the road looking like for you guys? You know, I haven't really looked at the road. I know we got the winner of Fremont and Toledo start. That's as far as I've looked at it. Obviously, uh, I've looked at some other brackets, some other schools, and some other teams. Um, but I'm not looking forward. Uh, I think that's where we start doing. I think that's where I start getting uh, slipped up a little bit when I start looking ahead. Yeah, we'll go scout the game on Monday. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to try to dissect that, uh, you know, see who we get to play. And, and from then on, you know, whoever we have, to, whoever our opponent is, you know, we're going to try to leave, again, no rock uncovered with our scouting report, doing everything we can to make sure our guys are prepared. Before even seeing those other teams, are there things that you know that this team has got to do to, to get as far as you want to? Yes, we have to control the glass. That's our number one, our number one priority. I think when we when we win heavy, rebounding, you know that makes the games easier. Um, our defense is there. Our athleticism has been there. Uh, we're able to score the ball in, in a variety of different ways, but we have to be an animal on the glass, and we have to control the glass. I know you've been about you know, winning these games, winning the track, winning the state, but how much fun are you having this year, Coach? I'm having a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun last year. Um, I'm having a lot of fun this year. It's going fast. It started slow, but it's going extremely fast. Um, you know, this is why, you know, hey, I applied for the job, you know, to help, you know, get kids in college, to help, you know, change the thought process of a lot of other kids. Um, you know, we have a lot of kids on the honor roll, so, you know, we're doing collectively, uh, you know, myself, my staff, the administrators, we're doing things different and, and it's working out for these kids, but, you know, the fun that we're having is priceless. You know, the memories are going to be priceless. Uh, you know, I love it. You know, the kids are having fun, even dating down to the middle school programs. 
you know, those kids are engaged in what we're doing up here and they're excited about being, you know, in the hallways at Lima Senior. So it's definitely a blessing to, to be a part of this.